Hi, I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a storyboard with flannel and felt. So the first thing you need is a board and I just used a piece of foam core board. I cut it in half and it made about this size. I think it's about 15 inches wide. Um, this side right here is covered with felt and all you need to do is buy enough felt uh, yardage to cover your board, trace your board around it, cut it out and glue it down. I like to use hot glue. Um, you can use some craft glue but the hot glue sticks to the felt really well and also sticks to paper so it's a good choice. Now on this side I have flannel and um, I covered it the same way. Um, Really, there's not a lot of difference between flannel and felt as far as what uh, will stick to it. Uh, a lot of the old uh, flannel boards that uh, were used in like Sunday school and, and uh, school and educational things used to have a piece of paper cutouts with some little flocking on the back of it. And those were a lot of times stuck on flannel. Um, but felt is used a lot of the time now in some of the more... Um, more modern applications but you can use either one actually so uh, that is how I made my board now the story that I'm going to tell is Humpty Dumpty and all I did was look uh, do a search for Humpty Dumpty coloring page on the internet and I got this coloring page which my daughter colored for me uh, and this is a good way to find a nice simple graphic that you can use to trace for your story um, so what you want to do is take your um, your character or your picture and um, you're going to get some freezer paper and this is just the freezer paper that you buy at the grocery store take a sheet of that and it's got uh, it's a paper uh, it's paper on one side and it's kind of a plasticky on the other side you want to put the plastic side down and then i just took a felt pen and traced around uh, the Humpty Dumpty shape and then I also went ahead and did uh, the arms separately and I did a belt and um, the little brick wall that he's sitting on and all the little bricks so once you get your your uh, pattern traced what you do is you whatever color of felt you're going to use in this case I used white um, you lay it down on top of the felt the plastic side down and you use a hot iron and you just iron it down onto the felt and it will stick down just enough to uh, it melts just enough to stick to the fabric so then it's very easy to cut your shapes out so once you get all your different little pieces together you can tell the story or your child can tell the story of Humpty Dumpty and I have the wall here and I made all these little bricks so if you have a little builder you can build the wall brick by brick and then Humpty Dumpty sits on it and he needs some clothes on that Humpty Dumpty oops I messed up my bricks there there's his pants that I made for him I'm gonna lay this down so I can see what I'm doing. Put them together for you. Because unlike all the king's horses and all the king's men, I'm pretty good at putting Humpty Dumpty together. There's his little shoes. My daughter insisted that he have shoes. But as you put it together, you can tell the story or your child can tell the story. And there's his belt. He has a little belt buckle. And there's his arms. So there's the Humpty Dumpty, felt Humpty Dumpty story that I made based off of this coloring page. So let me show you really quick here how this also, it's going to flip it over, sticks to the felt just as, or excuse me, the, the flannel just as easy as it does the felt. So another thing I wanted to show you very quickly is if you don't want to cut out all of these shapes out of felt, what you can do is 
print out some type of a graphic. I just used a flower here for demonstration. And then you can glue felt to the back of that and that will also stick. So if you like, if you want to actually print out the coloring pages and color them or have your child color them, you can glue felt to the back and use that as your story. So that is how you make a felt and flannel storyboard. This is Paula from MeMakeyThings.com. Have a great day.